What's the key to experiencing sexual and emotional fulfillment in our life that we all desire? Solomon gave us the prescription for that kind of fulfillment in Proverbs 5, verses 18 to 21. Instead of looking outside of marriage for that fulfillment, look for it within the marriage relationship that God has created. Solomon said it this way in Proverbs 5, verse 18. Let your fountain be blessed and rejoice in the wife of your youth. As a loving hind and a graceful doe, let her breast satisfy you at all times. Be exhilarated always with her love. For why should you, my son, be exhilarated with an adulteress and embrace the bosom of a foreigner? For the ways of a man are before the eyes of the Lord, and he watches over all of his paths. Perhaps that last sentence is the strongest argument for abstaining from sexual immorality. There's some of you right now, some of you watching, listening to this message, you're engaged in sexual immorality. You think nobody knows what you're up to. That may or may not be the truth. I think of a church leader I know who'd been carrying on an affair for a year. He thought nobody knew. What he didn't know was the elders of his church had hired a private investigator they were following him. They were camped outside of the home of the woman he was carrying on with. And on a day that began like any other day in his work career, he was called in and summarily dismissed from his position. The fact is, you may think nobody knows what you're doing. That may or may not be the case, but God knows. He's watching, he's judging, and eventually he will act. 